What's going on YouTube? Gothic Swifty here and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Gaming. And today on this episode we're going to take a look at some G Police on the PlayStation 1. G Police, when it comes to this game, uh, the only member I memory I have of it is playing a long time ago and I actually borrowed it from a friend, but uh all I remember is uh, kind of fucking around, really. I had, like, unlimited ammo and all weapons, cheat unlocked, whatever, and I just kind of fucked around and shit. But, uh... For those of you who have been wondering where my Throwback Gaming series has gone, uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> Freaking, uh, I, I guess, lack of motivation, I just, I've just been too lazy. Earth's resources are completely depleted. And, uh... A race to claim every uh, I don't even remember what this cutscene's about. Begins. Something about the future, I'm, I assume. But yeah, I've, I guess I've just been too lazy, unmotivated, and I just don't feel like doing it. I don't know. But, I'm back, and I'm gonna try to do this weekly again. ...declining resources, and expand their military capabilities in space. 2085. 2085. Your Jeez. Space survey ship Argo is impounded by SDRAF coalition forces. Three ships hmm. are destroyed in the ensuing police action. Negotiations fail and war breaks out. Hmm. 2086. 86. The war escalates and military resources on all sides are rapidly depleted. Hmm. 2087. The final fleet action takes place at Nereus Harbor, orbiting... So this is like... Future Warfare. This is basically like COD Infinite Warfare, just in PlayStation version. Warm, whatever. 64-bit. Powerful multinational corporations unite to take control and restore order to the tatters of society. With little remaining military or financial resources, Earth's governments are stripped of their powers and are forced to demilitarize. The construction of capital-class armed hmm. spacecraft is outlawed. Your face is outlawed. 2089. Turn the mic down. I think the it's kind of high. The exploitation of space, making vast profits to further strengthen their position. <laughs> really. Earth's coalition government is allowed to create a multinational force to keep order in the colonies. The government police are born. Government police? Though so that's what the G meant. All this time I never knew what G police meant, but... 2097, oh my god. Ugh. That was attractive. Present day. We live in 2070 or what was it? 2097. <sighs> I'm honestly not sure how this game starts. I don't remember anything about it except the fact that I've just kind of fucked around with everything. It'll be kind of nice to see what this game looks like again. I honestly don't remember this cutscene or anything about these cutscenes. I just skipped over this stuff. But, uh, I guess we could do one mission after I show you what I used to do when I played this as a kid. did after the collapse, but I'd seen enough killing, and killing's what it's all about. When they first hit the colonies, the G police operated... This is a very long intro, jeez. I'm half tempted this to skip it. Truckload, and it was clear that the frontiers required more forceful... Or if you guys want, just want to skip to the, um, the gameplay, I can put a little time link in the description. Havoc. I'd flown these babies on Mars during the war, and they were past their prime even then. 
Lack of funding from Earth means that these ships are still in frontline service. Secondhand machines flown by secondhand crews. Which doesn't make the job any easier. G police are supposed to represent government authority in the colonies. But I knew the score. Most smart cops did now. Keep the population under control and try and turn a blind eye to any shitty corporation deals. G police are all volunteers. Usually vets with time on their hands. There's a few high-minded idealists who think they can make a difference, but the majority are just running from problems back on Earth. The G police ask no questions. If you're willing and you're up to it, you're in. Elaine Slater was one of the idealists. She was on her fourth tour as a Havoc pilot on Callisto, and now she's dead. Another <laughs> good cop among many. They don't keep count anymore, but Elaine Slater was different. She was my sister. Oh, well, the inquiry slowly. gave a verdict of suicide linked to stress and depression. I didn't buy that. Elaine had won commendations for closing a couple of big cases, and she even hinted at a new romance. Depression just didn't fit the picture. If I didn't believe the suicide verdict, that left only one option. So I'm like either watching the movie or just waiting to play this. This is ridiculous how long this uh, intro scene is. Like, holy shit. Contacts and most of my savings. I'm on a new identity and signed up as a Havoc pilot in the colonies. My military record got me a post into the main hotspot, Callisto, to Elaine's old unit. I knew I'd have to watch my back out there. If anyone found out I was Elaine's brother, I was as good as dead. Oh my god, finally! Oh wait, no, never mind. Callisto, Mr. Taylor. I'm Commander Horton, and I run this operation. Good for you. I don't know who you were trying to fool with that false name, Bull Slater, but it's not gonna work on me. I've met some of the pilots already. They seem pleasant <laughs> enough. Horton was another story. A horror story. He talked tough and looked tougher. That hunk of tin hanging around his brain hadn't slowed him down, though. He'd spotted my phony ID and was not impressed. <laughs> Arriving on the same flight as the internal affairs investigator hadn't earned me any brownie points either. It was plain that my new commander didn't trust me. And that was okay. I wasn't too sure about him either. As I listened to Horton, I noticed the medals he wore. A vet from the Naris action. No wonder he looked half dead. Well, then it clicked. He was the Horton, the last great fleet captain. What the hell was he doing in this backwater? I don't trust you, Slater. I'm gonna be watching you like a hawk. Your first briefing is tomorrow at 500 hours in the main briefing room. In the meantime, I suggest you take a look at your unit's database and familiarize yourself with it. That's all for now, Slater. What's with all these tough guy low voices? Like, oh my gosh. Like, the only time I ever go that low is if I just got up with that morning voice. They all just sound tough like this. <laughs> oh, finally we get a freaking press start screen. Like, Jesus. Oh my gosh, 1997, wow. <laughs> I was six. Okay. Uh, let's, we're, I'm gonna look up that sheet real quick to get all weapons and unlimited ammo. Just so you guys, what I... Okay. First, take a look at this menu. This font, it looks like Chinese. Does that not look Japanese or Chinese? Like I could barely see what that is. Like, like th that the E right there. What? Oh my God. Okay, let's go to options real quick so I can. What is that? Sound. Setup. Oh my God. The font on here is atrocious. It's either trying to look English, or I don't know. Either, no, I should rephrase that. Failing to look English or trying to look Chinese or Japanese. I don't know what kind of, anyway. Um, 
So, let's go to a new mission then. Or we could do training. Chase. That course. I guess let's just do the training modes first, huh? This is advanced flight training. Whoa. Follow the indicated path as fast and as safely as possible. Times are being recorded. Hang on, hang on. Good luck. Uh actually quit that because I, I don't want to see that I, w I actually just want to go into it because I don't want to see that in the training oh my god I, I think this is going to bring back a lot of nostalgia here yeah. new mission day five. Oh gosh okay people listen up we all know that gang warfare has escalated rapidly in the past few months. We've been hit pretty hard by it. A lot of the weapons being used by the gangs are restricted military issue. We need to find out where this state-of-the-art firepower is coming from and neutralize the source. Recent information points to Krakow employees being involved in this weapon smuggling. The evidence is slight, however. And there is no clear motive for the corporation as a whole. I have expressed our concerns to their president, Natalie Argenta, who has naturally denied any involvement. Argenta is coming over on the next show, which barely even moves. I can't give an official directive here, but off the record, keep a close eye on crack off activities. I think they're hiding something. As you're probably aware, internal affairs are now investigating us, so no foul-ups, no heroics, and definitely no friendly fire incidents. Understood? Nope. Keep your eyes open out there, do your job, and get back in one piece. We can't afford to keep losing pilots or gunships at this rate. Mission briefings are at 0500 hours tomorrow. Good luck, people. Dismissed. And if I refuse? Okay. Wait a minute. Uh oh, shit, we can't back up. Well, uh, we're gonna have to go back to the briefing screen because uh, there's an invincibility sheet there and I didn't know that I should had to put it in there. So, before we uh, look at the environment again, I need to put that invincibility sheet in because I don't, really don't feel like, eh, or we can just let it go. I don't know. I've always been attracted to invincibility sheets, so. I guess we can let it slide this time, huh? Anyway. Control to Alpha One. Cargo containers located at spaceport holding area. Proceed to spaceport dome. Over. Okay then. Oh. Control to Alpha Wing. Follow oh. the waypoints to the spaceport. Over. Okay. Oh my God, the controls are a little bit laggy. See how do I? Okay, that's. Control to Alpha Wing. Fly through the tunnel to the next dome. Over. Shut up. I'm just kind of messing around, really. Is there a way to? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's see. Um. So box does reverse triangle goes forward uh, circle does nothing that fires your gun X Whoa. select changes your view which let's go up here and see what we got all right whoa look at those frames Wow, it's so smooth, and then you go down here, it's like, so jittery. It's just because there's so much going on. Okay, so let's see here. Air brake. What the fuck is an air brake? Whoa, shit. How do I change my weapons? Oh, that's how. Okay. So this is what I used to do when I was a kid and I had this game. I would just uh, go in the middle of nowhere, look at this honeycomb barrier, 
and just shoot at it with every gun and just see what it does. So, go EPP, I guess. Laser. I think there was a couple guns that were really cool. Plasma. Oh. Charges up. Oh, that's dope. Beacon? Oh. Okay. Different colors. Uh, I'm guessing... Whoa. Is that a... Oh, that's a bomb. Huh. And that's the nuclear bomb. Ha! Huh. I just fucked someone's life up. Bomblets? Ha! Huh. That's awesome. Rockets? Miss Star, I'm guessing? Whoa. Yeah, some of these weapons are pretty cool. Fire. Ha, oh, laser. I'm gonna put a frickin' laser on it! Okay, so there's a lot of weapons, and let's go with the... Uh, I don't know. That's a beacon. Let's go with the laser, huh? And another thing I used to do is just kind of... I think... If I remember correctly... Let me catch up to this guy. I think I used to... Shoot these little aircraft things down. Alright, let's do the missions now. Oh, there he is. Alright. Shit, uh... Rockets. Where's he at? There he is. Where the fuck's this guy going? Shit, dude. Oh, nice. Huh. Control to Alpha Wing. Go through the tunnel to reach Spaceport. So, yeah, I I don't know what else to say about this game. Cuz I like I said I always fucked around, but fucking around is kind of boring. I want to kill people. I'm kind I'm kind of getting used to the controls a little bit. Switch the view here. Whoa. Oh my god. No. Okay. I like this view here. So, we need to go this way, I think. That's as fast as I can go. Wow. Okay. Love how the game has to load. Oh, shoot. I'm guessing we gotta... Shoot this thing? There we go. Seriously? Whoa. Okay, this is my new favorite weapon then. So I'm guessing in this game you just go around, look for people, enemies to shoot, and then shoot them. That's, that's, uh, hang on. Shit. Hit the wrong buttons. Whoa. What the hell? I don't know what this does, but I'm using it anyway. If I can aim this thing better... Okay, then. So 
So what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Like, I'm confused. Am I supposed to... Maybe there's a... Do I bomb him? Oh. Control to Alpha-1. Wrong containers eliminated. Return to base. Over. What? Mission failed. But the arrow's pointing at him. The arrow was literally pointing at him. I don't know, man. Control to Alpha Wing. Scan the containers for illegal arms. Oh, scan them. How the hell do you scan them? So. Oh. Oh. I'm learning new things now. Container is legal. Over. Container is legal. Over. Okay. Container is legal. Over. Container is legal. Over. Uh -oh. Control to Alpha Wing. Well done. Illegal arms found. Arrest team on the way. Ground Team Epsilon reporting. We're on our way. Over. Ground Team Epsilon reporting. We are in position. Over. Control to Alpha Wing. There are four suspects in D4 Dome. Track them down and scan them. D4 Dome? Does that mean the other dome I was in? Is that what they're called? Or domes? I guess the green one's my objective? I'm having a hard time figuring out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay, so. The red one's my objective, then I guess? Has to be. Control to Alpha Wing. You have more hostiles incoming. Over. Awesome. Bring him on. Ooh. Nice. Man, controlling this thing is so slippery. Just like everything else. Okay. Commence scan. Innocent, do not destroy. Commence scan. The aiming fucking drags, dude. Innocent, do not destroy. If these fucking bad guys would leave me the fuck alone. Commence scan. Innocent, do not destroy. Three down, one to go. It's gotta be the next one. Scan. Control to Alpha One. We have a positive weapons check. Alpha One, you are clear to engage. Over. Uh. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Control to Alpha Wing. Mission complete. Over. Well, alrighty then. Control to Alpha Wing. Ground Team Epsilon have been eliminated. Over. Mission cheated? Oh. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh... <laughs> um, this episode of Throwback Gaming. Uh, yeah. That was, uh, those controls, oh my god, they are slippery. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm, uh, gonna try and do these again every week, like I used to, uh, yeah, if there's any games that you guys want to see done, uh, make sure to comment below, send me a tweet, I'm on Twitter at GothicSwifty. Uh, 91 follow me on there. I also live stream on beam.pro and twitch sometimes uh, I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on that um I don't care about what I felt and what I completed, but anyway you guys uh, Yeah, so I'll be doing these every Thursday again. Hopefully my schedule is open or works out for it and uh yeah i'll put links in the description to all my social media accounts and i'll see you guys in the next one gothic swifty out